Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics, and today I've got something just a little bit different for you, um, where we're gonna be doing a shot analysis of Andre Drummond's free throws. So it's gonna be opposite of our normal shooting uh, secrets videos where we talk about mechanics that players use that we like, but instead we're gonna work from the other direction and talk about mechanics that we think could change to increase shooting percentage. So as I go through this video, think about your own free throw mechanics and how maybe you can implement some of these tricks or tips or change them on your shot to help you shoot a higher percentage. Also, before we get started, two quick things. Number one, if you're new to shot mechanics, hit that subscription button because we have four to five videos coming out every week that are going to get you better. Number two, you can click the annotation above or the link in the description, get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets that you can plug directly into your game and probably increase your shooting percentage overnight. All right, so we all know that Andre Drummond's an absolute beast in the paint and one of the rising stars in the NBA in the front court. My favorite thing about him is he's actually pretty quick for his size and he combines that quickness with some power. I honestly believe he has the tools to be one of the most dominant big men in the NBA. There's just one small problem and that's his shooting, especially his free throw shooting. Today we're going to break down his free throw shooting and how I think I could help him become a better free throw and thus a better player. And at the end of this video, I'm going to need you to help me out to spread the word and there's going to be a little prize involved. All right, let's get started. And as we go through these tips and tricks, I want you to think about your free throws and if you're doing any of these things wrong. That way we can improve your free throw too. All right, let's jump into it. So first, let's take a quick look at Andre's stats. That way we can see exactly what we're working with. So let's look at his free throw percentages first. So you notice that he has gotten better as the years have gone on in the NBA, but not by a whole lot. And right now he's currently shooting 42% from the free throw line this season. So let's break it down like this. Last year he averaged 13.5 points per game, but he also missed 155 free throws. If last year he was a 75% free throw shooter, he would have hit 246 free throws as opposed to 137. So that's 109 points throughout the season that he missed on his scoring average. That's equivalent to scoring over 20 points in five extra games. So you can see where he's leaving money on the table. So now we know what's going on with this free throw and let's find out why it's going on with his free throws. All right, so let's start from the bottom and talk about his feet. Now, I do like how he's lining his dominant foot up in the center of the free throw line, but I don't really like how all 10 toes are facing towards the rim. If Andre would tilt his feet just slightly, it would take a lot of tension out of those shoulders and neck, and then that way when he goes up for a shot, it would be nice and smooth. I think that's the first step to eliminating that hitch. So as he brings the ball up, this tension in his shoulders causes that slight hitch before his release, and thus inaccuracy. So let's watch a great free throw shooter like Steph Curry step to the line. So you'll notice that number one, his shooting foot or his dominant foot's in the center of the line. And number two, both feet are slightly tilted his left foot a little bit more than his right. So tilt your feet and see if that helps your free throw percentage. Now let's talk about his dominant shooting finger because I think this is an issue. Now the way you hold the ball is very important because whatever your dominant finger is, that needs to be in the center of the ball. Whether you're an index finger shooter or a middle finger shooter or even a piece shooter, it's really important that whatever your dominant finger is, is in the center of the ball because if it's not, you're already out of alignment before you even release it. Now it's hard to tell what finger Andre Drummond likes to shoot with without being up close to him, but one thing I've noticed is that none of his fingers are ever in the center of the ball. I think this is a huge issue for him and just one tiny little hand placement adjustment could change his shooting percentage dramatically. So check out which finger you release the ball off of and then make sure that it's in the center of the ball on your free throws and it'll help your free throw percentage out a ton, I promise. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about are his shoulders and balance. Notice how when he starts to shoot his free throws, he starts to lean forward a little bit. This can kill your shooting arc and give you way worse touch at the free throw line. One way to check your balance and see if you're leaning too far forward is to see what direction your first step is after you shoot. Notice that his first step is forward. Now, while I was doing a little research for this video, I found a couple video clips that I think reinforce this shoulder theory even more. This first clip's a three that Andre Drummond hits as the shot clock's expiring, so he's forced to shoot. Now, because the pass was tipped and Andre Drummond was moving away from the hoop, his balance is naturally falling slightly away from the hoop, giving him a really great arc on the shot. And while we're at it, what else do we notice about his shot? As he lines up, you guessed it, his feet are tilted, relieving that tension in his shoulders. This is the first piece of evidence that I find that I really think that Andre Drummond with the right training could be a good shooter. So here's the second piece of evidence I see, a clip of him shooting around at a Pistons media day. Notice how on every shot he takes here, his shoulders fall backwards, giving him great arc and good touch on the basketball. Now in this situation, he's kind of joking around, he's just shooting, and I think that's probably why he's hitting shots. He's not thinking about his mechanics and thus his body's doing it naturally. I absolutely believe with no doubt in my mind that if I worked with Andre, working with his body biomechanics instead of against them, I think I could increase his shooting percentage overnight. Hitting shots is fun. It's liberating, especially for someone who hasn't done it before. And Andre, wouldn't you like to have this look on your face all the time? So long story short, Andre Drummond's a beast, and he's tearing up the league right now with his athleticism and his strength. 
but someday that athleticism and that strength will start to go away. And shooting's gonna become extremely vital for him to continue his career. And imagine if he can develop it in his prime where he still got that explosion, but could step out and hit threes and shoot 75 to 85% from the free throw line. If he develops his free throw in his jumper, I truly believe he's got the tools to be the best post player in the NBA. Somebody's just gotta get him there. All right, so now on to win the gift card. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to Twitter and you're gonna follow me and Andre Drummond on Twitter. Our Twitter handles are right here or I got them in the description as well. So step number one, you gotta follow us on Twitter. Step number two, you're gonna copy and paste the sentence in the description down below and tweet it and the video to Andre Drummond. So, you know, maybe we get lucky and he gives me a call. But regardless, either way, I'm still gonna be giving away this gift card to one of you guys that copies that exact sentence down below and tweets it. Now, you gotta copy the exact sentence. So make sure, cause I'm only gonna choose somebody who did the exact sentence copied word for word. Um, I'd probably just copy and paste it if I was you. And I'll be announcing the winner next week on Friday on our NBA Shooting Secrets video. So tune into that to see if you won. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on Monday for our Drill of the Week. Splash on.